North Carolina did not have a lazy – that's a segue in yeah. their business. They did not have a lazy Saturday. They had a, a Big Ten matchup Saturday, and and they beat a Big Ten team by three scores. Now, what I'm about to say, you could frame as some kind of a compliment. Okay. Uh, they beat a big team, Big Ten team by three scores. I still think they left quite a bit of change on the table. Hmm. I think they have uh, significantly higher potential than what they showed. They still okay. have some gas in the tank. Um, Drake May threw for 414 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. And to me, that kind of shows exactly what is possible, right? The, the, he made some throws, some throws, that there's probably two or three quarterbacks in college football that could have made those throws. And there okay. might only be 10 on the planet, including the NFL, that could have made those throws. 10 might be pushing it, but you get what I'm saying. Wildly impressive throws. Um, and if you have a guy that can do that, their offense is not living up to the potential of, of having that, right? It's, it's, yeah, you won by three scores. You were in a Lamborghini, they were in a, a Civic, right? It's like, no disrespect to Civics, but you, you, you should win, you should lap them, yeah, right? Sure. And, and, and you won by three scores, which is good, but it didn't feel dominant. Nate McCollum had 15 catches for 165 yards and a touchdown. It's a good day. That's a great day. That's number one receiver day. That's, oh, maybe we shouldn't have spent as much time on the Des Walker stuff and focus on the guys that we have because we might have an NFL guy here right now. Mac Brown, the head coach, here's some audio on him keeping his team uncomfortable this season. Absolutely. We, we won the Coastal and didn't win another game because we hadn't won the Coastal in a long time. We won nine. We hadn't won nine in a long time, so we got comfortable. And you can't, you can't get comfortable in life. You can't get com and, and football is a microcosm of life. That's what it is. And you can't, you can't get comfortable. You gotta, gotta go back to work. So uh, we'll see this week. I know Pitt's gonna play hard and I know they're gonna play well. I don't know about us. I think we will. And I'm gonna be really disappointed if we don't. But, but we've, that's, it's something, last time we were at this place, we didn't play very well. So it's, it's something that we, we need to do. We haven't done well. First of all, very coach speak there. Very much. I, I know they're going to play well. I don't know if we will. <laughs> you know your team a lot better than you know their team. <laughs> right, How yeah. are you definitive about Pitt and not <laughs> about your own squad? Um, Better hope your team plays well or plays hard. Plays hard, plays well. I mean, it's and, and let's be real, Pitt's not scary. Um, here's the thing. I'm getting real close to getting mad about this Tez Walker thing. All right. They walked in with Tez Walker shirts again. I'm, if I'm Tez Walker, I'm looking at the team and saying, guys, I'll be fine. <laughs> like, stop checking up on me. I'm good. Am I mad? Yeah. Was I mad at the NCAA? Yeah. Was it a bad decision? Yeah. But I'm like, I'm upright. I'm walking. I'm working out. I'm, I'm getting better. I'll be back next year. Mm -hmm. You guys got to take care of business. I'm getting real close to saying, stop it, NC or UNC. The NCAA messed up. That doesn't give you the the right to just hang up on one thing for the rest of eternity. Your your offense has not lived up to potential. That's not to say it hasn't been good. It's been good. But it should be better than good when you have the talent you have on offense. And I don't care if British Brooks is hurt. Marion Hampton's fine. If Marion Hampton's not getting it going, the passing game, like you have the 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 answers, right? They take this away, you should be good here. They take that away, you should be good here. The, the, stop letting something else affect your on-the-field play. Mm -hmm. Drake May should be, I mean, what is he, through three games, four touchdowns? Yeah. He's the second, kind of consensus, second most talented quarterback out there right now behind only Caleb Williams. And there are some in it that have said, hey, you know, some talent evaluators might even have Drake over Caleb Williams. He has four touchdown passes through three games. And yes, you've played a more difficult schedule than some, but you have the second most talented quarterback, uh, as everyone agrees on, in the in the NCAA, not in the ACC, not in the state of North Carolina, in the country, according to talent evaluators. Something is holding back your offense, and it's I mean, against a Big Ten team, Nate McCollum had 15 catches for 165 yards and a touchdown. So I don't think you can say, "Oh, we're missing a difference maker at wide receiver." You got one. At least he did in that game. Two touchdowns in that game, not enough. Not being dominant, and I'm talking eye test now. You win by three scores, it feels dominant, right? On paper, it's dominant. But sometimes the box score doesn't doesn't tell the 
the whole story. Sometimes you look at it and you go, all right. Yeah, you won. It was Minnesota. Mm-hmm. If it was Ohio State, it would be one thing. I don't, I don't Different I, story. I, uh, style points don't matter against some teams. Against Minnesota, they do. I want them. I want them to take the speed governor off and let it roll, right? I want to hear the engine rev a little bit. That's what I want to hear. 